Well, welcome uh, in Holland uh, with the band Levenhurst. Um, how long, uh, when was the last time that you were in Holland? Oh my goodness, probably about 20 years ago, 22 years ago maybe. But it's funny because uh, this is uh, like a homecoming for, for me personally and Michael because uh, Holland was the first place that we ever played outside of England, okay. ever. You know, we played up in Groningen, I think, a yeah, yeah, long time ago, 1979. Yeah, 80, 79, 80, yeah, yeah. And, of course, what was the band name? Oh, that was The Cure, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it was a long time ago, yeah. What do you remember of that uh, period? Um, it rained. I remember that. It rained a lot, yeah. And I also remember that, um, that causeway going up to Groningen with the lagoon on one side and the sea on the other, uh, and the swans. I love that, yeah. like to put it in a box and it started out it's it started out electronic right. probably in the beginning our first album perfect life was mostly electronics Lawrence on the drum machine and keyboard synthesizers etc myself on the vocals it was very minimal very electronic and the next album we add a little more guitar yeah uh, and now, now it's full circle, it's yeah. more organic, you know, now that whole, the whole feels more organic. But I, I don't like to put too many uh, labels, you know, labels are for radio programmers, not for, you know, the guy who makes the music, you know, for me it's just the music we do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's quite relaxed music also. Right, yeah, well, you know, we're it's relaxed now. <laughs> <laughs> we're older, we're relaxed, you know, yes. I understand that you are a couple. How difficult? How difficult is that to? How difficult is that to uh, to be in, in a band? <laughs> it's not, not at, all. at all. No. Not at all. It's a pleasure, really. So your experience? Uh, I'm not part of the couple, no. <laughs> of course not. But to play with a couple, I can't think of bringing my wife on the road, but um, all my children, for that matter. They were married before me. <laughs> yeah, you know, being in a band is very much like being married a lot of the time. You know, you live with each other on the road, you live in each other's pockets. So, yeah, except you don't have the benefits of being married, you know. It's it's just the, the closeness all the time, but it's the same thing, really. Would, um, what can the people expect tonight for this concert? Um, I think they can expect 50% something they've never heard and 50% something that's uh, very familiar. You, you play cure songs? Yeah, we do. We, we, play, we play songs that Michael and I helped write and create, so we, we figured, you know, we don't, we don't begrudge Robert playing his version, and we play our version. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's like how we did it, how we used to do it when we were 19 or 20. But yeah. It's slightly more comfortable. Yeah. Same it's mentality. Very, very important, you know, uh, 
there comes a point in every man's life and every woman's life that you, you've you've done a lot of things that you really wanted to do, and then you maybe you've had some kind of uh, crisis, but then you come out the other end and you think, well, what is it I really like to do? And what we really liked to do when we were 17 or whatever was play music together. And so now we're, you know, middle-aged men. Why not? We'll play music again just because for the joy of it, you know, because it's a very spiritual thing. So, yeah, certainly not for the money, but, uh, you know, it's for the joy of it more than anything. with Robert Smith? A little, a little, you know, from time to time, you know, occasionally. Not very much nowadays, but, you know, occasionally, yeah. Are there plans to work together in the future? Mm, should ask him, that one, yeah. Um, you want that, huh? Yeah, it would be okay. It would be okay. I'm not averse to anything, you know. The, the whole point is we, we went through a period where we had, you know, a disagreement, and um, we don't really have a disagreement anymore. So it's fine, but I'm I'm happy doing this, you know, and and this is very uh, free, you know. The, the the cure comes with a lot of baggage that's not free, and this has no baggage, so that's great. It sounds that you are very proud on your cure past. Oh yeah, yeah, because you know we, I'm still amazed at how many things were changed, you know, and uh, for that I'm I'm very, I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful and I'm I'm proud of it, yeah. What do you mean with that change? What changed? Uh, I, I think there's a lot of people who wouldn't have thought they could make any music. You know, they they would have stayed in their bedrooms and and uh, you know I think we we kind of liberated a whole generation of of kids to go out and play something. You know, because that's how we felt. You know, we we got uh, inspired by stuff that happened at the time that we started, like the Clash and things, and we thought. Okay, if they can do it, we can, and that made us go out and do something. And I think we we pass that along to the next next set of people, you know. Thank you. I want to ask Michael a few questions. You busy man? You're twittering or? <laughs> no. I'm the only person in this lineup who doesn't twit. I don't Twitter. I don't Facebook. I don't MySpace. Um, and you? How do you have contact with Robert Smith? No. Although he lives very close to me, ironically, because uh, I still live in England, but um, no, no. Do you want to have contact or play together? You know, I, there's a lot of people who I went to school with who I don't have contact with, um, and you know that really was the bit shortly after my school days, and uh, quite a bit's happened since then in my own personal life. So uh, it's not a burning desire, and I wouldn't expect it to be a burning desire in Robert's heart either. The other bands you were in, you were also in the uh, Associates and the Lotus Eaters. You have contacts with those musicians? Uh, psychic contacts, uh, contacts with the Associates, there's, there's only half of them left. Um, but yeah, I speak to Alan Rankin quite often, uh, who was a guitar player in the Associates, and both the Lotus Eaters, yeah, who are making a record at the moment, which is, of course, sounds quite good. Yeah. A record with you? Huh? Not with me, no, but um, I played with them last year, and we went to Liverpool and played a gig there, which was great fun. <laughs> How, how did you get in this band? Uh, I met Cindy and Lawrence about uh, six and a half years ago. Uh, they were looking for a guitar player to come on a tour with them. They, the, their prior Levenhurst guitar player sort of, uh, uh, but yeah, he disappeared in the, at the last minute. And they called me about five days before the tour. They said, we're going to tour the United States. We need a guitar player tomorrow and literally I said okay I heard the music and you know it was an honor to you know meet Lawrence you know I saw The Cure the first time I saw The Cure was back in 1987 on the Kiss Me Tour in Chicago and it was an honor to meet him and then you know meet Cindy as well and it was just like it was just a beautiful thing we seem to be like kindred souls and um, what, yeah. what are the plans with the band? Cindy. 
keep playing and creating. <laughs> yeah, I could be more specific than that. We, we do this tour, uh, which is Holland, Germany, Poland, Italy. We go back to uh, America and we do America in the summer and then we come back to Europe in the... So that's another year's worth of work, really, yeah. So that's the plan. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Again.